Chairman, uh, I'm trying to recall from before our voting. That's all right. I don't remember what I said. Dust off the cob cobwebs. Uh, that, you know, my point here, and I just want to re reiterate for the record, um, because the, the chairman was uh, suggesting that it was somehow uh, contradictory to be suggesting that I've got concerns with the fact that multiple jurisdictions, even if the chairman disagrees with the, with the point and disagrees with the facts, it is my view that there are multiple jurisdictions, and the record reflects that there are multiple jurisdictions that have cut funding for police, and that has happened across the country, and that has led primarily, and has been led primarily by uh, Democratic uh, city councils, including Austin, Texas, which I represent. Um, my point is simply, here we are, and I got no response from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle when I said, here's another $100 million a year, another billion dollars, uh, where are we getting that money? And there was no response to that, right? Because there never is a response to that, ever. There's never a response in this town to that question. They'll just say, oh, oh, oh we'll get, oh, the tax the rich. Yield? It's no, the gentleman tax the rich. Like tax company. It's the gentleman yield? Uh, uh, not at this point. I'll just go back on to that. Point. What's it? Well, all right, I'll yield. That's exactly right. Right, I know. Did, I knew the response. Uh, the, under the Trump administration, uh, we well, reduced I'll taxes on the rich, so we just my some time. Of Mr. Chairman, reclaiming my time. I, I said earlier, I posited that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle would say taxes. You can't possibly come up with enough taxes for the amount of deficits that we are spending every year. You can't come up with the numbers. The math doesn't work yep. for you to come up with enough taxes while also killing the economy, by the way, to come up with enough taxes to pay everything we're spending. You just keep spending money and keep writing a blank check to do it. And then on the actual substance of what we're talking about, the chairman says, oh, you're defunding. Like, your, your allegation is that because I oppose the uh, uh, bill from the General Lady from Florida, that I'm defunding. Well, it's like the chairman comes up and says, well, you know, uh, Mr. Roy, I need you to fund my, uh, you know, uh, friend's car, my child's car. And I say, uh, no. And you say, well, you're defunding my kid's car fund. It's like, no, that's absurd. It's like, you know, the, the, the people in the states are perfectly capable of coming up with the funding to figure out what they need to do. Uh, I'm for, there are federal policies I'm for as a former federal prosecutor, first assistant attorney general of Texas, going after criminals, whatever we can do when you need to share information. That, you know, there are, there are roles for the federal government to engage, but in this case, we're just simply doing another grant, another grant program. And so um, with that, I would uh, yield back to the gentleman from Ohio.